Hey guys, welcome to At Home Fitness with Coach A, and I am Coach B. <laughs> Just a little inside joke for the uh, YouTube fam here. So, it is my goal as Coach A to bring you guys in-gym quality coaching and workouts for your home workout needs, or possibly even like me, I'm demonstrating in a second, your garage gym. Uh, it is Saturday, August 22nd, and it is day number 160 of our At Home free workouts and programming. So as you guys probably have figured out over the last couple weeks, Saturday has kind of turned into super sucky Saturday, meaning it's going to be the longest, hardest workouts of the week, uh, stuff that you can take outside if you like to do that kind of thing, if you live in a place where it's nice out and get out and enjoy yourselves. Um, unfortunately, there's not going to be much enjoyment today other than the fun in the sun. We are going to be doing Manion. Manion is a CrossFit hero workout. And Manion is seven rounds, 400 meter run, which is a quarter mile. Uh, it is a loop of most legal size tracks here in the United States, if you guys uh, have the ability to make it to one of those. So 400 meter run and 29 back squats. Thankfully, that back squat weight is only 135 pounds for the guys and 95 pounds for the ladies. Now, obviously, we don't all have barbells, we don't all have plates, we don't all have squat racks, but we all have something that we can squat, so I will go over the different ways you guys can modify this when I head out to the garage gym and talk about how to possibly adjust reps and things like that based on the weight and how you guys are going to work through it. Have fun. guys the moment you've all been waiting for another super sucky saturday workout so as you've seen what we're doing today is called manion it is a crossfit hero workout and it is seven rounds 400 meter run or a length around the track or a quarter mile and 29 back squats of 135 95 135 95 should not be heavy you were going to do some heavy squatting and probably work up to a heavy single or something along those lines, that should be your starting weight, okay? So the very first weight that you would do for somewhere in the range of maybe eight to 12 reps to get warmed up, okay? It's gonna be a lot of squats. I'd rather see you being able to maintain a number with lighter weight than having to bring the number down with heavier weight. So I'm gonna start on my run. 400 meters, if you guys don't have a distance measured out, which is honestly pretty easy to do with the different apps and stuff we have today, then take it as a time scale, two minutes, okay? Run out for a minute, run back for a minute. Yes, it's probably gonna change as you go, unless you start at a 70-ish percent pace on that first one, and then it should come out to something that's pretty much even in the way through, okay? So I go, I do my 400 meter run, I grab my bar, and I'm doing my back squats, okay? Um, obviously, if you guys have a squat rack, take it off the squat rack. If not, you might have to pick it up off the ground. So you're gonna clean it, and then pick it up into a push press, set it on those shoulders. All right, stick around. I will talk about how to modify this if you guys don't have a barbell, and if you wanna do something other than running. Stay tuned for movement modifications. All right, guys, well, let's talk modifications. We're going cardio first. Here is a breakdown chart, kind of just the glare of the light there. So a 400 meter run is about the same equivalency as 500 for the guys, 400 for the ladies meters on the rower, 40 and 28 calories on an airdyne, so a bike with arms, so to speak. 800 meters on a C2 Concept 2 bike. And for the love of God, if you are thinking about ski urging this workout, do not do it. You're gonna destroy your lats on the ski erg, and that is going to destroy your mechanics on the back squat. You're gonna end up squatting like this, and that is going to destroy your back. So avoid the ski erg today, just run if there's nothing else, all right? Now, I'm talking about the squats. So I don't have a barbell, um, I only have plates, 
dumbbells, kettlebells, stuff along those lines. So there's all kinds of stuff we can do. If we're looking at a single dumbbell or kettlebell, it can be held in a goblet position. It can be offset, one shoulder or the other, switching back and forth, trying to come out as even as we can. If we're looking at two, we can always front rack those or stack them on top of the traps. Uh, if we have uh, any odd weighted objects, like a medicine ball, uh, a weight vest, a backpack, if you guys just have a heavy plate of some kind, we can always shoulder them, hug them, front rack them. You can always take that plate and set it on the back of the shoulders, uh, similar to how you guys would good morning. If we don't have any of that, and the only option is to do air squats, a couple things you can do to try and make a normal air squat have higher resistance and feel. You guys can treat it as a tempo eccentric, right? So four seconds down, one or two seconds up, or maybe even more than that on the way down and really try and maximize how much stress we're creating in that air squat. Or you guys can just double the reps. Double the reps, go with normal air squat instead of 29, go with 58. Um, it seems like that is a terrible idea, but if you've done Murph before, You've done this before, you can handle this. All right, so that's something I don't think we need to take into consideration that much. Uh, if you wanna weight vest it up, maybe keep it at the same numbers or increase it, it's up to you guys. Remember, this is your workout. Uh, have a plan, if you need to adjust the plan, adjust the plan. Otherwise, stick to it and make yourself work through it.